Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do simultaneous equations. When we're doing simultaneous equations, we have two equations. But more importantly, what you would notice is that there are two different unknowns, x and y. When you're doing simultaneous equations, the aim is to solve for x and for y. How we do this is, number one, the first style we're going to discuss today is elimination. But in order to do elimination, you have to have two terms that look exactly the same. The easier option would be to make the x in the first equation 3x. Now how we do that is we multiply every term by 3. Now the reason you can do that is because if you multiply every term by 3, what you do on the right, you do on the left, look at what happens. I got 3x plus 9y plus 15 is equal to 0. As long as you multiply on both sides, right hand side and left hand side, you're keeping a balance, it is acceptable. Now this has become our first equation. Let's bring down our second equation. 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. So when we're doing elimination, number 1, you need to get one unknown exactly the same. Now I'm emphasizing on exactly the same because we also mean the signs need to be the same. You cannot have one as plus and one is minus. When we say exactly the same, they have to be the same even with regard to their signs. So how we get it the same? We usually use concepts of multiplication or division. Number two, we are going to subtract. Now, when you subtract, what happens is the sign changes. So if I say minus, I'm going to take the top equation minus the bottom equation. Now look at what happens when we subtract. Every sign will change by means of the distributive law. So I have minus 3x. I have plus 2y. And I have minus 4. Now when we subtract, what happens to all our signs is that they change. Because negative, if you bring a negative in by means of a distributive law, we will end up with negative 3x positive 2y and negative 4. Now let's rewrite this. On the top we have 3x plus 9y plus 15 is equal to 0. And at the bottom we have negative 3x positive 2y. Remembering that every sign changes. Negative 4 is equal to 0. Now if we take the top equation, subtract the bottom equation, look at what we have. 3 minus 3 is 0. Plus 9 plus 2 is 11y. Four, 15 minus 4 gives me 11 is equal to 0. Now we have a linear equation, so we solve the linear equation. Using our linear rules, we got y is equal to minus 1. But in simultaneous equations, you need to solve for both. So in the first one, you solved for y or x. When you are doing simultaneous equations, you have to go back and solve for the remainder. In the first equation, we solve for y. So you go back and you solve for x. Now how we do this is we substitute the answer we got into any equation above. 
So any of the original equations. So if I take 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. I'm taking the original equation. And I'm substituting my minus 1 in wherever y is. So I have 3x minus 2 into minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now we are going to solve using our linear equations. Right, so we have 3x minus 2 times negative 1 gives me positive 2 plus 4 is equal to 0. We have 3x is equal to minus 6. x is equal to minus 2. Right, so we've used the concept of elimination and we've got the x and y value. It is advisable to always write it in coordinate form. The x first and then the y. And that would be your final answer. Now, when we use elimination, you must remember we always say that one unknown must be exactly the same. This method is usually only used when we have linear equations. As you get to bigger grades and we start giving you x squared and um, y squared, it is not advisable to use this method. You do however use it in other sections like number patterns, sequence and series, so it is advisable to know this method. Thank you for watching.